Snowcat Artist 3 can output DMX in a number of ways. The most common, especially amongst the smaller installations of up to two universities, is by using the Showcad USB to DMX interface. There have been quite a few different types of USB DMX box supplied by Showcad over the years, but the current version are the black metal boxes. These feature optically isolated outputs to protect the computer hardware from any dangerous ground loops or over voltage events, and a USB bus powered so don't require an external power supply. To allow for larger multi-universe installations, Artist 2 introduced support for PathPort by Pathway Connective Solutions. This is a protocol that can send up to 64 DMX universes across Ethernet networks via Cat5. However, Showcad recommend that only a maximum of 20 universes are used due to the throughput of PathPort devices. Because it is a licensed protocol, not many manufacturers support it, with Pathway's own quite expensive hardware being the only real interface between the PathPort protocol and DMX. Support for PathPort is retained in Artist3 for backwards compatibility, but due to its expensive interfaces and limited support, we won't be covering it in these tutorials. It is doubtful you'll be installing it, especially now that a better and cheaper way of sending DMX across a network is available. The most common way of transmitting DMX across Ethernet, the open source protocol ArtNet by Artistic License, was added to Artist3. Being open source, it has allowed a multitude of manufacturers to produce hardware that will send and receive ArtNet natively and is widely regarded as the industry standard for distributed DMX transmission. Using ArtNet, we can theoretically address up to 32,768 universes of DMX data. However, the cabling infrastructure and your PC's processing power will more than likely limit this well before that number. We set up the DMX interfaces in the Resource tab of the Navigator window. There are two branches we're interested in, the Input-Output Patch and the Interface Manager. The input-output patch is where we create virtual inputs and outputs that we talk to within Artist 3. It is split into universes out and in for DMX universes, MIDI outputs and inputs for interfacing with MIDI control devices, and analog and digital allowing us to talk to any other external triggers. The interface manager is where we can view and configure the hardware physically connected to the PC. These branches will automatically populate with these devices. So why is it in two parts, I hear you ask? Well, in Artist 2 it wasn't. It had a single interface branch, and within the software we used to patch directly to the hardware. The problems arose when we needed to change the hardware that we were using. Because we were patching every fixture directly to the hardware, it meant it was a difficult, long-winded process to move the fixtures across to the new devices. We had to individually go into each fixture, edit its properties, and repatch it onto the new piece of hardware. Not too much problem if you only had, for example, eight moving heads, but if you have 512 pin spots, it would take a very long time. In Artist 3, the concept of virtual interfaces was introduced to allow us to patch the fixtures to the virtual interface and then just repatch the entire universe to the different hardware as required, making life a lot simpler. In the next tutorial, we will take a closer look at installing and patching the USB DMX boxes. <laughs>